Hey, this is Tyler with DRAM, project manager for DRAM Water. We're going to take a look at this recirculation pump here. It's a vertical multi-stage pump and we're going to make sure that the pump is installed correctly by checking the discharge direction of the pump. We're going to check the motor rotation and then we're going to start the pump up and bleed air from the impeller by opening up a air bleed port on the side of the pump motor. I'll show you how to do that. So first what we're going to look at is the pump discharge. There's an arrow on the uh, stainless steel portion of this pump, which is the impeller stack. If you look at this arrow, it's pointing in this direction. That is correct. It is the discharge on this side, and this is the suction side of the pump. Uh, if we wanted to take a look at the pump rotation, what we end up doing is we'll disconnect these two screws to pull this stainless steel cover off. Behind there, there's a blue coupling with an arrow. We'll jog the motor of the pump and watch that that arrow is spinning in the correct direction. So if you look down here, can see the arrows pointing in this direction to be the clockwise direction of the motor. Uh, if I go over to the controller on the top of the motor and I push the start button and then I push the stop button, I can confirm that it is spinning in the correct direction. So before I actually run the pump, I'm going to put this back on so that I don't have any hazard or any ability to get caught on that coupling. So the most common mistakes for when checking if a pump is installed correctly is to reference other arrows on the body of the pump incorrectly. You should always use, like I said, this arrow down here to check the discharge direction of the pump. Do not use this motor adapter arrow right here and do not use this motor adapter arrow to check the rotation. Always pull this stainless steel cover off, look at the blue coupling to confirm rotation. If your pump is rotating in the incorrect direction and it's a three-phase pump, your electrician can then simply switch two of the lead wires on the three-phase incoming power and that will change the rotation. Sometimes you could also change rotation on the VFD if your drive has that capability. Uh, once we want to operate this pump for the very first time, we need to bleed any air that might be locked at the impeller of the pump. The pump comes with a manual that talks you through the process, but a simple way to do that is to utilize this little air bleed bolt on the side of the pump. So what we want to do first before we even start the motor is to have water flowing to the suction side of the pump, open this up about a quarter of the way to an eighth of the way open, and you'll see air and water bleed out of the side of the pump. Once you see a full steady stream of water, you're welcome to turn the pump on. Make sure your inlet or suction side of the pump valve is open and your discharge side of the pump is open so you can flow water through it. You can go over to your drive or your pump switch and jog the motor. With the pump running, you want to then open that again and bleed all, all the air. Once all the air is bled out, you can go ahead and tighten that back down.